Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the jump cut editing technique in Camtasia. All right, so if you have watched any of our tutorial videos, the jump cut editing technique is what I do on pretty much every single video. And I like this technique because it brings your video time down. It makes it easier to record because you don't have to get everything in one go. And it makes the video actually more interesting and I'll explain why. So the definition of jump cut editing is when you remove the pauses that you have between sentences, the boring parts, the mistakes, and you literally just have the good stuff, the content, the stuff that's needed for the video to be interesting. So when you see my videos, you might think, oh wow, you know, she didn't make any mistakes and she's speaking uh, in a great flow and it's uh, entertaining. Well, that's actually not the case because I actually do make a lot of mistakes and when you do these kinds of videos, you try and say a word and you end up saying something else completely different and you know, there's lots of mistakes and you know, sometimes you sneeze in the middle of doing a tutorial, but you need to remove that. So I've got a video that I just recorded and it's a Merch by Amazon update video that I usually release on Mondays and I'm going to show you the jump cut editing technique. So this was filmed on screencast. So I filmed my screen as well as myself, but I'm going to remove the actual screencast part and just have the webcam that I had. So first I'm going to click here and I'm going to remove the back part because I don't need it. And then you're going to see there's a tiny little video in the corner. I'm just going to enlarge that. Sometimes it just makes it like really tiny. And then I'm going to lengthen the timeline so I can see what's happening. Now, as you can see, the audio is really tiny right now. So I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to head over here, go to the audio effects tab. I'm going to add noise removal. This is what I always do to our audio. It's added. It's just going to enhance the audio a little bit better. And then I'm going to raise the audio here so that I can see it and I can hear it. So you see how there's a bunch of audio like this, these little, you know, spikes and stuff, these graph spikes. That's audio. And then when you don't see anything, that's just like dead air. That's probably me looking around at my notes or I'm doing something else. See, I'm, I'm looking around there. The way I record my videos is I will say a line and then I'm going to pause for a second and then I'm going to say the next line and then pause for a second and say the next line. If I make a mistake while I'm speaking, I will repeat that line over again. This technique helps you to save time while filming because if you try and record everything without a mistake in one go, you might be doing it a couple of times and it might take a lot longer. This way it allows you, the, the way that this filming works, the way if you do the jump cut editing technique, it trains your brain to think fast and you don't need to memorize the whole thing. So I'm going to play a little bit here. I'm going to play the audio without any editing and you're going to see what it actually looks like versus the polished version. So I'm going to play from the beginning here. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be doing Merch by Amazon update number 53. So I'm pausing, I'm looking around. I usually do that. So in the very beginning, I will say what the video is about, the one sentence, and then I pause, and then that's when the intro comes in. So I'll just play a little bit more. I also noticed that the audio is a little bit off, so we're going to have to fix that as well. All right, so last week we got approved to sell in Amazon.co.uk 
and Amazon.de, which is for Germany. So I just said the sentence, I paused. A little bit before receiving that email, they had announced that they are opening to those two countries for new markets. So you see how I'm saying a line and then I'm pausing and then I'm saying a line and then I'm pausing. When you do that and then you remove those pauses and you put you scrunch everything all up together, that's called jump cut editing. You are removing the dead pauses and the boring parts and the mistakes and just like literally going cut, 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 cut and it's going right into the scene. Like you don't add any transitions. They just, it just goes one after the other. Now. On a side note, something is going on with the audio. I've noticed with the latest Camtasia that the audio gets off sync for some reason. So before I go back into the jump cut editing, I'm actually going to fix this audio because it's really bothering me that it's uh, not synced right now. So uh, to fix this, I'm going to go separate audio from video. I'm going to zoom in on the timeline. It's really annoying how this happens. It never used to happen in the previous version in Camtasia 9. So what I did was slightly move the audio just a little bit forward and then I'm just going to play it to see if it works. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be doing Merch by Amazon update number 53. Okay, I think it's fixed now. Sometimes it's just a slight little nudge of the audio forward that it's going to fix it. So let's get back into the jump cut editing technique. Okay, so I need to remove all these blank spaces and basically put the clips, the interesting parts, right together. Now there's lines that I say that I'm like, oh, that's not really relevant for the video, let's delete it, we don't need it. The, the whole purpose of jump cut editing is to basically get your video to the, the meat of it, like make it the exciting part, leave all the boring stuff out. So for instance, I paused for a bunch in the beginning, I'm going to remove that part. So I'm going to click S where I want to make a little split cut, highlight this, click the backspace delete button on your keyboard and it is removed. Now I'm going to move everything up to the front. Now I don't need to play it from the beginning, I'm just going to play a little bit here from the end. 53. Okay, so I'm going 53. So I want to, right when I hear the three, the end of it. Oh, be careful when you are saying certain words like, uh, like collected. That part there at the end, the collected, the id part, sometimes people cut that off and then they'll, they'll only see the T part and I'll see if I can explain it to you, but just make sure that you hear the whole thing before you cut it and certain words get cut because of the way, you know, we have, we speak, it doesn't show up as well in audio. I'll, I'll see if I can find an example. So I'm going to click the S key for split. If you don't press the S key, you can also click this key right here, which is also the split key, but I click the S button to make it go faster. I'm going to highlight again, and I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to go right to the beginning. All right, so last week. Okay, so I want to go there. So I'm going to go back there, click the S. Now it becomes very repetitive, and I've been doing this for like thousands of videos and for years, so. I can do, I can edit a 10 minute video in less than 20 minutes because I, I've done it so many times. So once I've deleted that, I'm going to just move everything over and I'll play sort of the first jump cut that is happening here. So I'll pl just play it from the middle so you guys can see. Merch by Amazon update number 53. All right, so last week. So before there was a pause there. That is what I'm removing. You want to remove the pause because the pause is not, it's not benefiting people. And you know, you can really bring your video time down when you remove all this stuff. It's amazing to see, you know, how much time you spend like looking at your notes or, you know, not giving the full value right after the other. So I'm going to move that there and have that there. Usually I would have my intro, but this is just an example and I just want to show you what the jump cut editing looks like. So I'm going to play again here near the end. Amazon.de, which is for Germany. 
Okay, so I said Germany. So I'm going to click the S key and then let's play here. This is pretty much what I do when I'm editing these videos. A little bit before receiving that email. Okay, so that line is fine. I'm going to split S key, highlight this, delete it, and then move everyone forward. So let's play that. And Amazon.de, which is for Germany. A little bit before receiving that email, they had announced that they are opening to those two countries for new markets. So this is basically what you would do for the entire video is go through, play the whole thing, and this is my editing process. And I would remove all of the mistakes and all of the dead air. And then once you're done, that is a jump cut edit because you've removed everything and it's literally going to go from one clip to the other. It's going to jump from one clip to the other. You're not putting a transition. You're not putting anything in between. It's just jumping from one clip to the other. And you can see when you do different movements when you jump, it keeps the person entertained. If I were to do this whole thing without uh, doing any jump cuts, and let's say I was able to remember everything, even if I was, it would make the video less entertaining. It would make it more boring in my opinion if I were to just sit there and just speak and it was just one cut the whole way through. I prefer many cuts because I'll show you. We as humans get bored really easily, so the more entertaining, the more switches that you can do with the videos, the better it's going to be for your viewer, and I'll show you here. Amazon update number 53. All right, so last so week just, like, we got approved like that, to then, sell do it in Amazon.co.uk and Amazon.de, which is for Germany. A little bit before... So you see, like, I'm moving, right? So it does these, like, fast cuts, and you don't really notice it, but it really is more entertaining for the viewer. Do a one-minute video clip where you're just talking, and then do that same one-minute video clip and remove all of the dead air, and you will see which one is more entertaining. Now, there are times where I don't do jump cut editing at all, and we have the whole thing as one, but for the most part with these tutorials, this is the kind of style of editing that I like to do. All right, guys, well, that was it for this video. That is how you do the jump cut editing technique in Camtasia. If you like these tutorials, you can head down to the description below as I have a bunch more free Camtasia tutorials for you guys. And if you want to check out the Camtasia software, you can also head down to the description below. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.